Dobre Doshli. Welcome to Seasons of Bulgaria, folk inspired music for solo violin. I am Abby McKee, Executive Director of Portland Baroque Orchestra, and I am delighted to welcome you to Studio Great Arts in the heart of downtown Portland and this performance envisioned and brought to life by PBO violinist Toma Iliev. Strave Toma. Strave Abby. This project was inspired by the idea of uniting two seemingly different musical realms. They are both very dear to me as a musician. Historically informed performance and Bulgarian violin music of the 20th century. In particular, the Capriccios for Solo Violin by Petr Hristoskov. Hristoskov is one of Bulgaria's best known pedagogues and composers. His works include large scale orchestral music, chamber music, piano, cello, and violin concerti, and of course, these solo violin works. Hristoskov was a renowned professor of violin at the National Academy of Music in Sofia, Bulgaria's capital and largest city. And I can trace my own pedagogical heritage to his teachings. Written in 1954, his set of 12 capriccios, Opus 1, presents us with some of the most colorful and interesting Bulgarian pieces for solo violin. While deeply rooted in traditional song and dance styles, these pieces are also a nod to earlier solo violin repertoire, as well as the creative zeitgeist of the mid-20th century. I grew up hearing and playing these capriccios as a very young violinist. So for me, they're very nostalgic and keep me connected to my teachers and musical community of my youth. While I, I do not play 20th century music very often, these pieces have become part of my own standard repertoire and I often find myself playing them as part of my daily warm-up. The idea for this project came towards the end of last year when I realized that through Great Arts Period I could bring this lively, contemplative and nostalgic music to listeners everywhere. The movements you will hear, Rachanitsa, Harvest Song, Dance and Prelude are performed on gut strings to highlight the wonderful organic qualities that this music has to offer. To me, these movements represent the seasons of the year and the various traditions and memories of my ch childhood in Bulgaria. I'll be sharing a bit more about this throughout the performance. Thank you for tuning in and I hope that you will find some joy and comfort in this music. We present this performance in partnership with Bulgaria's National Culture Fund. We're also deeply grateful to Menashe Properties for providing us with Studio Great Arts, this beautiful space, for this performance and so many others. Thank you to the Oregon Cultural Trust, the Collins Foundation, the Union Pacific Foundation, and Ronnie LaCroute for their support of our digital performances this season. Buagodarya, thank you for joining us, and please enjoy the show. This piece, titled Torachenitsa, feels like a celebration of life and renewal, and it's filled with hope for happiness and well-being. I relate this movement to the lively spring season and to the Bulgarian holiday celebrated on March 1st, a holiday called Baba Marta Day. On that day, Bulgarians exchange red and white bracelets and decorations called Martenitsi. These bracelets symbolize health and renewal and the anticipation of spring. After the equinox, they're traditionally tied to the branches of trees outdoors. So if you look closely, you can always spot a few martenitsi tied to trees when you're on a walk in Bulgaria.
The Hervis song is the most unique capriccio in this set. I love its stillness and simplicity, which are so perfectly embodied by a simple melody over a drone. When I play it, I imagine a flat landscape on a hot summer day and rich golden wheat fields shining in the sunlight all the way to the horizon in the flatlands near Sofia. It's harvest time and I imagine men and women in traditional attire working tirelessly in the heat, picking up the harvest. Christoskov has the violin unmistakably evoke the sound of a Bulgarian female choir, singing of days past and present and relieving the burden of hard work through song. Suddenly, a little contrast, perhaps a little breeze in the form of a subdued Rochenitsa, comes in to interrupt the stillness of the image before it whittles down and fades away, to give way once again to the song.
Growing up, I used to love spending four weekends at my family's cottage in Negushevo, a small village at the foot of the Balkan Mountains, just outside of Sofia. This house was built by my great-grandparents and holds many hidden treasures, like heirlooms from times past, wooden baskets for picking fruit straight from the trees, and old family portraits in black and white. Just across the road is a large forest, where my sister and I spent time running, hiking, and mushroom hunting. Last fall, we found a huge amount of these beautiful purple wood bluet mushrooms, which we made into an amazing meal after making sure they were safe to eat, of course. This caprice reminds me of the fall in Negushevo, all the running up and down the hills I used to do as a child, and the autumn forests with their red, orange, and yellow leaves. The piece is short, but action-packed. It's full of ups and downs. It races. It tumbles. It stops to take a breath. It falls. And it climbs back up. It begs the violinist and the listener to keep up. The final piece on this program symbolizes the winter months. It can feel unpredictable and tumultuous, but it ends on a happy, hopeful note, a prelude to better things yet to come and to wishes for happiness in our community. I spent much of this past winter with my family in Bulgaria, and I was very happy to be able to spend the holiday season with them for the first time in many, many years. Our holiday dinners included lots of food and drink, including Bulgarian pita, a large round handmade bread, typically decorated to wish for a prosperous harvest the following year, and of course, rakia, an aromatic Bulgarian brandy made of plums or pears. Before each meal, you would make a toast and say nazdrave, which means cheers or to your health. Thank you for watching this evening. Stay well and na zdrave.
Thank you.